everybody, welcome to Mike Talk on a Wednesday morning. Glad that you're with me. Happy Wednesday. Almost, we're halfway through the week. Don't know what your week's like. You going to school? You staying at home? You working? You got some activities planned? I don't know what's going on in your world, but I know this. Uh, God's going to be faithful today. His mercies are new every day, so let's go. Been in the office early this morning uh, studying, getting ready for this week's uh, sermon, and uh, praying for uh, Baptism Sunday that's coming up. You know, people have been a little hesitant with the COVID uh, uh, pandemic and all the stuff that comes with it to, you know, to do the baptism thing. I don't know if they think that there's, you know, something in the water. I don't know. But um, we're CDC safe, as safe as can be, safer than Walmart and more essential. That's what I've been saying for a year now. So if you need to be baptized, contact Eastview.Church. We'd love to schedule that for this Sunday or just come forward. We're going to offer an invitation. So um, we'd love to see you there. Guys, listen, we live in a culture where uh, a lot of words, especially hurtful words, um, we're reminded in this culture that people say evil things. I mean, almost daily, some coach or some uh, basketball star, some movie star, some celebrity, uh, some Yahoo on social media has said something negative and derogatory. And we've been awakened again uh, because of what happened in um, uh, in Atlanta a couple weeks ago uh, of, of hatred that comes. Hate People say hateful things, bad things come out of their mouth towards Asian Americans and, and uh, Pacific Islanders, uh, towards African Americans, towards white people, towards uh, people who are um, less uh, socially uh, strong or in standing. Man, we just have a lot of stuff. Where's that come from? Where's the stuff that comes, where's the hateful stuff that comes out of our mouth? Where's that come from? We got to fix this, Christians. We got to fix this because uh, it, we are the ones that have to lead with the stuff that comes out of our mouth. Jesus teaches this in Luke 6, verse 45. Here's the verse for the day. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. And the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. So here, where are all these words coming from? Where are all the hateful things people are saying? Where are the, the things that are selfish, the things that are self-centered, the things that are accusing other people? Where are the... Where are all these bad things coming from? When, when they come out of our mouth, we, we ask ourselves, where does that come from? It comes from the heart. Jesus says very clearly, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to go to Proverbs 4.23. There's another word there about hearts. Proverbs 4.23 says, guard your heart, for out of it flows life. So today, here's the challenge. Yes, watch your words. Yes, Take inventory of the things you say and the things that you've said in the past and ask yourself, are these offensive unknowingly to people of color? Are these uns uh, uh, insensitive to women? Are these hurtful things to my coworkers? Um, simple things, uh, flippant things that come out of our mouth without th thoroughly being thought. Yes, take an inventory of your words today. Think through what might be the things that are harmful that come from your mouth. But more importantly, search your heart. What is, search your heart and ask your, let's do some heart work this week. Let's do some heart work on this Wednesday. And let's search our hearts and let's see what we need to guard them from. Here's what I'm sure of. I think we let a lot of stuff come into our heart from sources that are outside the word of God. Maybe it's a non-Christian friend or work uh, co-worker, fellow student. Maybe it's um, a blog post that we follow. Maybe it is um, somebody's social media, uh, you know, Twitter or, uh, you know, what's the other one? Yeah, Instagram. I'm almost awake this morning. More coffee, please. Um, what is it? that you allow to come into your heart because Proverbs 4.23 says, guard your heart. Guys, here's what I believe. If you let words come into your heart and they sit there and they grow there, out of your mouth are going to come all kinds of things. But if, if, if we put the word of God in our heart, 
As, some, as Psalm 119 says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path. Then, then the words that come out of our mouth will be godly words. Never has there been a time in, in our culture, in my recollection, where um, words have been more important, words have been more misconstrued, taken out of context, and uh, seen as hurtful. What am I supposed to do as a Christian? Am I just supposed to say, well, get over it, grow up, stop being a sissy, stop being a, even there, I said sissy, that probably is implication wrong. What am I just supposed to do? Here's what, the, here's what Jesus would do. Jesus would go, I'm going to not say anything that's offensive to anyone else unless I'm bringing them into line with God's word. Let God's word be offensive to people. Let's, let's not be offensive. Let's search our hearts today. Let's guard our hearts today. Don't let anything in there that we don't uh, want to have come out of our mouth. Because if it comes in our heart, it will come out of our mouth. And um, so today, guard your hearts. Here's the verse. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. The evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Let's do some heart surgery today. See you tomorrow. God bless you guys.